Right, this is one of those um, disco LED light bulb uh, things. It's just got a little lens on the top. It plugs into a standard bayonet socket, uh, 240 volts. They're very, very cheap, about a fiver, if that. Um, we use these down in the pub when they do a disc or whatever. They just dot a few of these around and uh, they give a reasonable effect. But this one, um, apparently, it uh, it went bang. Um, the landlord put it in, switched it on. He said, at first, nothing seemed to happen. And he went to look at it, go and have a look at it. And as he was approaching it, it went bang. So I decided to have a look and see what actually went wrong. Now, whatever went wrong, I don't think it's damaged the motor or the LEDs. Because if I turn this, you can see that they light up. So the motor and the LED must still be working. Um, so it must be in the actual power supply circuitry and it's not going to be a complicated power supply um, Probably just a capacitive dropper It's not really much to go wrong in these things, so I'm not sure what's gone bang But we'll find out Do this uh, Big Clive style <laughs> Right, so we've got two screws in there That's done is it's unscrewed the motor from the rest of this thing. So does this just pop off? Looks like it might. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's got a little switch mode driver in there. Oh, yeah, and something's definitely gone bang. You see, the, uh good mark down there hmm so since this thing is stuffed let's tear it down That's uh, disassembled. Yeah, this little switch mode thing's gone pop. stuff oh yeah it's all charred and it stinks oh oh that's honking wow uh, capacitor it's uh do something about that don't want to risk uh, Getting a nasty nip off that, so yeah. So it's hard to say, really. <laughs> it's hard to say exactly what's failed. It looks like this has got a little bit of a hole in it. This little transistor. Um, it's blown tracks off the board. It's just vaporized the copper on the board there. Um, it's possibly, possibly just a breakdown of the component or something wrong with the transform itself. That's pretty black, but that might just be splatter off of other stuff that's gone wrong. But yeah, <laughs> it certainly, certainly failed quite spectacularly. So let's uh, get rid of that. Try something quickly and put this back in because this uh, 
didn't need to come out this motor Wired are super thin. There we go. There we go. Interestingly, without the uh, circuit board switch mode controller connected, it no longer lights the red and green, uh, green and blue LEDs. I wonder if I short these out if it would. Yeah, it does if I short those two wires out. Let's just do a little test here quickly. Get my power supply. Let's set it to about nine volts, I think. Should be about right. And attach it to attach it to here and see what happens. Yeah, that looks about right. What are we doing on current? Oh. Mm, about, about 300 milliamps. That's about right. So, yeah, the actual bulb's okay. The LEDs are all fine. The motor's still working, as you can see. Just this little switch mode power supply has died. No, oh, could be something we can modify and play around with but yeah there you go